Welcome to Sachs Linear Static Analysis. And let's start copying the model file 09 to our analysis folder. And opening that with Precede. Just double click on it. And the first thing we're going to do is to separate the model file and the environmental loading file. So go to File, Save As, and here choose Model Data Only. Then click OK. And we're going to save the file as static. OK. You can close this and reopen the model file 09. And now go again to File, Save As, and now I'm going to save C State Data Only. Then click OK. And I'm going to call this static also. And here, it's C in file. Okay, we can close now. We can check our C state input file, drag it to the data gen. And here it is. All the loadings are here. Now we can delete the 09 model file and now start creating a joint scan input file. Launch data gen, create new data file, at the post processing tab, select joint scan input file, then click OK. The first thing we're going to do is to check the units. Okay. We're going to use metric with kiloneurons, so that's okay. And the first line is the joint can options. Joint check option, we're going to use API. 21st edition, the allowable limit, we're going to use the default and all the others. At the reports tab, strength analysis report options, let's change to sum. Print load path report, yes. Print load transfer cross court report, yes. New C order, full. Joint can output options, full. We're going to click apply and then go to the second line. In the second line, we're going to insert a command called relief. This is useful to evaluate the stress at the face of the cord. Okay, click OK. And that's it. We can finally type our end line and save the file as jcnimp.dat Let's create the analysis run file. Go to analysis generator, select analysis type, static, basic static analysis and let's check this box environmental loading and the file ID is static the section library is correct and let's select the sex model file and the c-state input file
that's fine. We're gonna check the tubular joint check and provide the joint can input file. So during the analysis, the tubular joint check is going to be performed. Okay, and now we're gonna add some options here. Now we're gonna edit some options here. Go to the C state options by clicking edit environmental loading option. At the output options, override model and include member data. Yes, then click OK. And in edit element check option, let's select the code criteria. And the stress code check locations. Gonna use two for non segmented element and two for segmented element. The report option gonna override the joint deflections, joint reactions, and forces, and UC ranges. That's it. Now we can run our analysis. Here it is. Just a warning. It's not a problem, but we got no errors. And now let's take a look at the results. Here's our output listing file. Let's find the basic loadings. Here's our basic loading summary. And if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna find the combined load case summary. Okay, and we can find the unit checks greater than zero and less than 0 0.5. And here's the unit check of the members that failed. Okay. There is also a tubular joint check result, joint can detail report. Okay. Let's find the summary. Here's the summary, the joint can summary ordered by unit check. Now let's take a look at the graphical results. Open up the post view database directory. It's going to launch pre-seed program and go to display labeling deflected shape options and let's select one of the loads and show deflection we can show like this or can use solid model or can also animate okay and now let's check the members go to member review redesign and select one of the members this one, for example, and here we can change the outside diameter. Go to labeling options, results, member, maximum combined unit check. Okay, and then apply. These are the members that failed. Let's take a look a little bit closer to this one. Go to member, review, redesign, select the member. Okay, and 
here we can change the yield stress and recalculate. See that the allowable stress raised, and but it still fail. Oh, we can change different parameters here and check the new unit checks. Okay. We can check the moment diagram. We can also see a detailed report. We have the stiffness properties, and that's it. So that's what we wanted to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.